Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for Monday, August 19th, 2019. So this morning we have futures, very happy this morning. Futures are popping up. What's going on is we have uh, bond yields that are improving this morning. Those bond yields are bouncing, giving everyone this nice warm and fuzzy feeling this morning and we are popping higher. So first thing, let's take a look here. I'm looking at the SPY and you can see SPY gapping substantially higher here this morning. Now that's a good thing and it's also a bad thing. You know, for us retail traders, what that means is, well, already we've missed the move. And unless you're already long the market, um, you're not going to be able to probably take advantage of this. We also want to notice real carefully or closely that we are gapping right into the resistance of price, price action, and those 50-day moving averages and those cr uh, moving averages crossing down that zone of resistance right up here. We're gapping right into that this morning and if we take a look there's um, significant resistance in this chart right across here and we'll be gapping right up right into that level um, this morning now it's possible this could trigger all this bullishness could trigger a short squeeze if you don't know what a short squeeze is that's where there's a lot of traders short and uh, this big bullish move requires them to buy to cover to cover those short trades and that can actually push markets even higher. But let's remember that there's also those possibilities where we pop up in the morning, we get that morning gap up, and then we sell off the rest of the day. So could that be the possibility today? Um, yes, we could gap up here this morning and find nothing but bears up here to uh, push this back down. Uh, creating that pop and drop pattern. The other scenario, and we've seen this here recently, and I'm going to go to a shorter term chart, like a 15 minute chart to show you this. We could also gap, run just a little bit, and then spend the rest of the day going nowhere. We could actually just consolidate right against that resistance level and do nothing. So difficult decisions to mean to for traders to be made today. I don't know. Um, it's going to be pretty pretty tough decision as to what you do this morning was such a massive gap up. Um, right now, Dow futures are suggesting 284 points in this gap up. So we're gapping up really, really strong. Do we, do you, we even dare chase into it with the volatility that we've seen in the market? Do you uh, choose to just um, sit on your hands and possibly risk missing out on all of this move? Uh, really difficult decisions to be made this morning um, about the market, and I'm not sure which one would be the right decision. I think for me, I'm going to have to watch and wait after this morning gap to find out whether or not we're going to get follow through to the upside, excuse me, or if those bears are going to push us back down. I, I just don't know, and that that means I really have no edge in the market. If I feel I have no edge, I would rather stand aside and wait for the next entries into the trade. I don't want to chase chase a market um, and walk right into a bear trap. Let's take a look at the diamonds. Diamonds doing the same thing, um, popping up here strongly, gapping up really hard. Clearly we're gapping right into some resistance levels in the chart gapping right up into here gapping up into these resistance levels in the chart also we have our 50-day moving average right up here so it's still below that and our price action high that we were looking at right here is also still in play notice we've got that zone of resistance with those averages right in this area so tough tough call as to what to do today let's take a look at the cues Q is also showing us a big gap up this morning. Now, this one is showing a little bit more bullishness here. And, and the Qs have shown us more bullishness with this higher low. 
you can see the NASDAQ is gapping directly into that 50-day moving average area where it could, it's possible, could push on through, triggering that short squeeze to move us higher. So let's watch that pretty closely. The Qs are in the lead here. But let's not fail to recognize that we still have significant levels of resistance here in this chart that we're going to have to breach to move a lot higher. So keep that in mind. We're not out of the woods yet, even with this gap up this morning. And then IWM, poor IWM, getting a nice bounce off of this level of support, which is great to see. Glad that that is coming into play. But if you take a look, Gapping right up into its 200-day moving average. Uh, more price resistance for IWM to deal with. Actually, significantly more price resistance for IWM to deal with. And certainly not in a healthy condition, at least at the moment. Let's take a look at the VIX. Our VIX has been hopping and popping all over the place. And the VIX is one of those really, boy been hard to get um, too much of a handle on uh, on the VIX here but what we've been dealing with is we've been dealing with this downtrend break and uh, uh, the VIX breaking back above that now this morning's big gap is likely going to move us significantly lower in the VIX so let's watch this level of price support in here this level of price support will be key and of course the price support of this downtrend if we hold there could be that fear that creeps back into the market if we happen to get that pop and drop or whatever but if we hold that um, will be really important for us to pay attention to. However, if we fail right back down through here, we could be in really, really good shape on the VIX, showing no fear in the market. Let's take a look at T2122. Now, this would be the one that gives me the most pause this morning. First off, we were down here last Thursday in this bullish reversal zone, and we certainly did get that. We got that bullish reversal back up following through on friday now with this giant gap up this morning we're likely already going to be right back up here in that bearish reversal zone that really quick fast whipping move right back up we're going to slam into this headlong this morning and we'll have to watch that pretty closely can't i'm not going to say that we can't follow through and push on through and this does not in any way shape or form indicate to us that we are in imminent danger of a complete reversal failure to the up uh, to the downside not a, that's not what t21 uh, 22 does but it does tell us when we've reached that that short-term overbought and, and keep in mind we can stay up here overbought for a while we can hang around up here in this area overbought but we also will have to consider that really the only thing that's changed here is the bond yields. We're still struggling with um, a lot of unknown. What is the FOMC going to do? What uh, What's the outcome of these trade negotiations? Lots of things that are still plaguing the market. So it's wonderful that the bond yields have bounced, but... It's just like any other price action that can also whip the other direction. So keep in mind, we're pushing up here toward those upper levels, at least for the short term. And that could create a little bit of trouble right after the open. We could see some sellers. We could see bears in here. Yeah, anything is possible. So watch that pretty closely. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar. Not much on our economic calendar today of that's going to move us around at all as you can see we have e-commerce retail sales and we have bond auctions so nothing in here on the calendar today to really give us much uh, worry at all what we do have coming up here on wednesday that's going to be important i think is the fomc fomc minutes come out on wednesday could that provide us some clarity Maybe. And it's also one of those things where we could end up seeing the market just kind of stall and consolidate, waiting for a little bit more clarity as we push resistance levels.
So we're going to want to consider that carefully. Remember, the market moves in three directions. It can move up, it can move down, and it certainly can move sideways, as we saw on Friday after that gap up open, and then we just went nowhere. So we could certainly follow through that, that gap with just a, a sideways consolidation as we wait for that FOMC and hopefully some clarity in the market. Also existing home sales there on Wednesday that has the potential of moving us around. So we'll want to watch that fairly closely. So with that, not much on the economic calendar to really move us around. On the earnings calendar today, we have just short of 60 companies reporting not a not a lot of big particular notable companies um, uh, reporting. Um, we got WB reporting this morning. Looks like it's reported well. We have Baidu this afternoon that reports. Um, we'll have to wait and see how this reports this afternoon after the bell. That could be a, a, a substantial market mover um, after the bell. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day in the market. I want to wish you great trading. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also, click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, guys, the purpose of these videos is not to predict the direction of the market. It's to look at the key factors, how we want to approach the market for today. I can tell you after looking at these charts and seeing this huge gap up, I'm going to approach the market with extreme caution. I don't want to chase into this uh, morning pop. I want to watch and wait to see if there's actually going to be follow through buyers. And who knows if those bears show up and decide to push it back down, there may actually be a good setup here for some short trades. So um, I'm not exactly sure how I want to uh, uh, jump or, or utilize this price action this morning. But what I will do is exercise some caution and remember that I don't have to trade every day to be successful in the market, that I need to trade with an edge. I don't need to gamble. I need to trade with an edge. So I'm going to stick to my rules and be a little bit cautious this morning on how I approach this market. And if you find that kind of information helpful to you, please do me a favor. Click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. Any kind of comment will do. It helps those algorithms show these videos to more folks and helps us grow the channel. I also want to say a huge thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that. It means a lot to me. You are truly the reason that the channel grows. And I, um, I can't thank you enough for all the kind words and support of this kind of information that you have provided. You guys are awesome. Um, also, feel free to share these videos with any friends and family. Um, share it on Facebook and Twitter. So with that, let's take a look at some charts that, well, could be setting up. There's ch some charts out there looking pretty good that have held up really, really well in this sell-off. And there are those that we have to question whether or not they may bring in some more selling. Take a look at Starbucks. Starbucks is one of those bullish charts that's been holding up really, really well, showing lots of strength. I think Starbucks in this kind of a bullish market certainly has the opportunity to maybe move uh, on up. And you can see this morning, Starbucks is looking to gap a little bit higher this morning, showing us some pretty good signs overall. Take a look at CMG. CMG, now this is an expensive guy, I know that, uh, but CMG showing lots of bullishness here, holding up very, very well after that pullback, pushing right back up. It looks like CMG wants to gap up this morning, so we'll have to watch that closely, but CMG looking strong and um, showing some strength here this morning. Let's take a look at um, a company called Cintas. Cintas moving up nicely here this uh, and holding up very, very well on Friday. Looking strong, um, continuing to hold up very, very well. So Cintas is one that you might want to put on your list as a possible watch, possibly ho possible hold. What I've been keeping an eye on, this has been a really good trader here um, the last year or so, and 
BSX, been struggling here, uh, struggling, struggling, struggling around um, all of this market fluctuation, but it continues to just kind of hang in there. So not ready for prime time yet. Um, and by the way, none of the charts that I show in these videos are any recommendation to buy or sell anything. They're just simply charts of note that you might want to keep an eye on, pay attention to for possible trades. Um, but that's holding up pretty well. And um, I'm going to be keeping an eye on it myself. Um, just needs a little bit more love in here before it really starts turning around. Uh, Procter & Gamble holding up very, very well. Uh, P&G is one of those consumer defensive companies and consumer defensive companies typically do well in times of market uncertainty. Looks like it's gapping up this morning. I don't think I would want to chase that, but when um, we see these market, these uncertain markets, uh, things like Procter & Gamble, stocks like Coca-Cola do very well. Coke moving on up, gapping higher this morning. If we uh, take a look at stocks like PepsiCo, PepsiCo, another one of those defensive stocks, has moved up strongly here in this move. Hershey, looking very, very good, um, still holding up strong. Hershey is one to maybe take a look at. You might also want to take a look at um, some stocks that have been struggling along here, but holding up relatively well. Take a look at this WDC, a little tiny bit of a trend going on here working on this big price resistance in the chart. If we can get back above that price resistance, there may be some upside potential here in WDC. So keep an eye on that. If you're looking for some of those stocks that might be um, a little bit questionable, take a look at um, Dollar General here. Dollar General still struggling here underneath its 50-day moving average. If this were to fail underneath here, there could be some trouble ahead. Right now, this is one of those that you just want to wait on because we're in this what we call a wedge pattern. And you can see just wedging right in here underneath that 50 day moving average. This has that potential to break out and just keep moving higher. Also, that potential to break down and move lower. So, we'll want to watch that pretty closely. Going to be a little bit hard to put on any shorts today with the strength of this market um, um, today. If you take a look at a stock like KAR, KAR certainly broke down in this move, but I think it's interesting over the last couple of weeks after that shocking breakdown, um, it's moved back higher here. It's trying to regain levels of price support. KAR may be coming back around for a potential, so keep an eye on it. How about BLL? BLL has just been one of those trenders that just doesn't want to give up, just going up and up and up and up, holding on strong, looking really good. AIG is one I've been kind of keeping an eye on. Um, fluctu a lot of fluctuation here with um, the bonds moving around. Uh, insurance companies are big mortgage buyers and uh, bond fluctuations and things like that really mess up uh, uh, things for them. But if this can get back above this area right in here, this area of resistance, hold as support, there may be some opportunities. You can see we've got that little higher low here in that chart. So AIG might be one to put on your list to keep an eye on. So there's a few charts. I, you know, the market, whether you can trust this market or not, you know, uh, what I will say is there's some really difficult decisions to be made today. What are you going to do? Are you going to uh, kind of get um, caught up in this fear of missing out and try to chase into this? Are you going to wait, be a little bit patient to see if there's actually follow through, if, if those bulls are actually going to hang in there? What are you going to do? Um, tough decisions to be made today. Be really, really careful, guys. There is a lot of danger in this market. We've seen the radical volatility, and there's no reason to believe that that is going to change. As a matter of fact, could even spike up this morning with this big gap up open. So that volatility continuing to stay with us, uh, really reducing the edge for that swing position trader. This is really a market uh, more suited to those very quick, very adept 
uh, day traders out there. So keep that in mind in deciding how you want to move forward on your day. I want to wish everyone a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And if you're struggling as a trader, please, I want you to understand you're not alone. There's a lot of folks out there struggling, but don't give up. Don't give up on your dream of trading. Just pull back do a little bit more studying, uh, do a little bit more practicing. Remember to always work to maintain your edge in the market. And sometimes when a market is like this, there's just no edge to be had. And the best thing you can do is protect your capital stand aside and let the market calm down where better days will and there will be better days ahead trust me on that everyone take care have an awesome day i wish you all the best and we'll see you right back here bright and early tuesday morning have a great day.